Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel Travel Wonderful. Hello my wonderful people, how are you? As the title of this video says, I am currently at the Colonia Tobar, which is a German village that dates back to 1843 and it's one of Venezuela's most popular tourist destinations because of its incredible architecture and mix of different cultures. So here we got German and Venezuelan culture. So I'm gonna be showing you what it looks like. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you like this video and remember to leave a comment below. Enjoy the video, travel wonderful. Located in the municipality of Tovar in the Aragua state, roughly one hour and a half from Caracas, the Colonia Tovar is a unique German settlement that dates back to 1843 and it was established by a group of immigrants coming from the Black Forest region and Kaiserstuhl in Germany and to this day it maintains its strong ties to its German heritage. And you may ask, how all of this happened? Well, basically under the government that took control at that time in Venezuela, they decided to enact a law that facilitated the entry of those European immigrants who wanted to settle in here, which is why one of the first ones to arrive were the Germans. And it's that, during the government of José Antonio Páez, worked together with the scientists and one of the greatest explorers of the New World, Alexander von Humboldt, to find a suitable place where these foreigners could develop agricultural activities, preserve their cultural traditions and good quality of life. However, the problem was the climate, which is why they chose one of the lands of Mr. Manuel Tovar, one of the members of the most powerful families of the country at that time. And this is how the Colonia Tovar became the ideal site, because it's 2,000 meters above the sea level and shared borders with Caracas and the Caribbean Sea. The first to arrive were 400 Germans from different families, they made replicas very similar to their houses in Germany, from beautiful houses to tourist hotels. And the structure of this town transports you without doubt to German lands. It is something incredible. Just beautiful, so nice. Everywhere you go, you see very beautiful architecture, typical from here, from this part of Venezuela. Go here, people selling their, you know, like typical things from here, from the Colonia Tobar, like sweets, doses, butter, cookies as well. They cost roughly around one and a half dollars, or you have promotions like three, four, four dollars. Que vamos a comprar más tarde. <laughs> that we're gonna try later. Suspiro is also very popular here in Venezuela, and we got fresh fruit even as well. So another post here for selling traditional things. And we're just going a look right now because we just arrived. Maybe a magnet will be a good gift as well. So we got the magnets, they cost one US dollar, so definitely we're gonna be buying some later. This is like the traditional outfit that the people use here in the Colonia Tovar, the women. So very nice. Hopefully we see someone wearing it so I can record you those outfits for you to have a look. And we enter to this little part as well. You can see that they go like their own Cerveza Tovar, which is the traditional beer from here, which is made right here. There are coffees, restaurants. It is really quiet because we just arrived, but I guess later it's, it's gonna pick up. But really beautiful, the architecture and everything from here. They got some small souvenir shops over there as well, which I'm gonna show you. And I saw that the cost is also one US dollar for the magnets for your fridge. So yeah, so this one is more like with the traditional houses and the flags of Venezuela and Germany. So obviously we just exploring around, just admiring the beauty of this incredible village located in Venezuela. And another amazing thing is up the mountains, you can see all the little houses, all with the same architecture of the Colonia Tovar. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. I got to say, very worth having a visit over here. More restaurants on this side. So this is the part literally just in front of the church you can see here. Very beautiful. So we got also places in which they sell fresas con crema, which are strawberries with cream. So I got to say that in here the agricultural work is the strong, the strong part of this village. So obviously all the fruits and whatever you eat from here, it's got to be good because they produce it in here in which they have the benefit of having uh, cold and warm weather at the same time. But we're gonna be trying for sure later on the fresas con crema, which I'm going to show you what it's like. So obviously apart from restaurants, small hotels, 
bars, you got people living over here. So look how beautiful this house is among all this incredible nature. It's just beautiful. I cannot believe this is actually located in Venezuela. It looks completely, you know, European, German, a bit Bavarian as well. Uh, yeah, we are, as I said before, in the Colonia Tovar in Venezuela. And stop right there for one moment. Please make sure you give a like to the video right now. It really helps me a lot if you do this so that I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already and activate your notification. So let's continue with the video. And look, this is sort of like pop bar. It really reminds me of the ones I've seen in Munich and even at the Bavarian village I visit in Winterworld Wonderland a few months ago in London. But yeah, in here it's all real, it's not made up for a park. Just amazing. And I like the fact that it's really quiet because I get, I got told that it gets extremely busy from time to time, especially during the weekend. Wow, look at that part over there. So beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. So, so beautiful. So we have arrived to this place which is called the Hotel Selva Negra and look at the beautiful views they got right here. Here we got also the German flag and the Venezuelan flag as well. But look at these panoramic views from this viewpoint they got over here. Wow guys, it's just stunning. Very, very stunning with the architecture, with the nature, with all this beautiful scenery just over here. Wow, wow, wow. I am so impressed. And all the paths that they, they go all the way down, I guess, to the different rooms that they go over here. And over here, they got like some, I guess in here when this weekend they sell things, they got like a little sort of bar, restaurant over there as well, like more casual one that probably they open on the weekends, like open, open air restaurant. Um, also, they got another one there, which is the one we're gonna go now. But look at the beautiful architecture. So, so beautiful. It's like a very cute little house from, you know, this area. Obviously, you can see all the German influence. So, as I said before, we arrived to this bar, which is called Hotel Selva Negra. And they got at this really nice restaurant with all this beautiful, like, sort of, like, very old architecture with many details on the ceilings. Very, very traditionally German style architecture. And we are deciding right now what to eat. Look, even it's in German the name and in Spanish. I ordered the traditional beer in the meantime, which is called Tovar, which is made here in the Colonia Tovar, German style pills and beer. And in the meantime, we decided on what to eat, but yeah, definitely very, very beautiful restaurant. So in here we go even apart from all the traditional food, we go also the traditional costume, which is used uh, in Germany and is used also here in the Colonia Tovar. So as you can have a look and I'll take a picture. Muchas gracias. <laughs> So the food have finally arrived and look at this is the carousel selva negra that includes different kinds of uh, german meats and also like sort of international we got here prawns we got a uh, polish sausages we got german uh, sausages as well a bit of vegetable salads and we got a pineapple here but this one you don't eat this one is just decoration we got here this is the german uh, plate which is pretty much like a uh, german sausages we got the, the rodilla which is a uh, German knee, the part of the pig. This is a steak pretty much with the mushrooms and there we got another rodilla as well, which is the knee of the pig. Everything looks very delicious, so we're gonna start eating. Buen provecho. Oh wow, looks so, 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 so yummy. So let me try the German sausage. Mm, so good. even see pictures of the resident of Germany back in 1995, Dr. Roman Herzog came to visit La Colonia Tovar. So it's very interesting to see that even presidents of Germany have visited this German village. So we have taken a tour in Jeep that takes you, you know, in a very nice way throughout the streets of the Colonia Tovar. And our first stop is this, you know, very beautiful and traditional house that is called Traditions. And they explain you a little bit 
of their traditions on how they make the bread and different sort of like words in German as well and also about the history of the first Germans that arrived here back in 1843. They say it was roughly around 372 Germans that arrived here back then and it's very very beautiful and there is this lady which seems German explaining you everything. You got also this part in which people can take pictures <laughs> with traditional <laughs> sort of like the outfit. It's very nice for a picture. It's a tradition <laughs> of October 1st. You can see here different kind of beers that they have made throughout the years. It is very important to note that the first beer ever made in Venezuela was actually here back in 1843 as a tradition that the Germans brought with them. And then obviously it became something popular all around the world. But yes, the Germans were the first ones to make beer here in Venezuelan territory. And something also very typical you can eat here in the Colonia Tobar is the strawberries with cream or fresas con crema. And it's absolutely delicious over here because the strawberries are so fresh. And in the meantime, they're showing us also what it's like the traditional dances of here. <laughs> Wow, so she's got also the traditional outfit and is currently dancing. <laughs> and in the meantime, everyone is dancing. So for the second stop of this amazing tour, they took us to Chocolatico, which is artisanal chocolate made here in the Colonia Tovar. And apart from selling you different kinds of chocolates that are made here, they also explain you the process of how they are made, the traditional Venezuelan cacao. So yes, yeah, very interesting. So let's see what we get from here. So we have different kinds of chocolates inside, different shapes. There is even like Mickey Mouse or any character you can imagine. I bought this one for my mom that said Mama te amo. So I hope it's delicious, it looks very good. It must be really good. Venezuela is very popular to have very good chocolates. They also go very nice spaces here in which you can relax, enjoy the beautiful views from here. We got also the typical letters that say, I love Colonia Tovar, yo amo la Colonia Tovar. So very, very nice, very popular spot for taking pictures with the amazing panoramic views of the Colonia Tovar from here. So for our third stop over here, we got the Jardín of the Hortensias, which is a kind of flower that comes over here. They say that when one dies, a hundred more are born. So look how beautiful. They say they can have up to so many different kinds of colors. So for example, here we see like this bluish color. Here we got yellow and a little bit of green as well. So it's very, very beautiful. Look at all this beautiful nature over here with all these kind of flowers. So beautiful. For the next stop, we go Cafe Tovar, which is a charming and cozy place located over here. And it's known for its delicious coffee selection that is made here in the Colonia Tovar. From the moment you enter over here, you will be greeted with a warm welcome and a cozy atmosphere. Its cozy and rustic decor transport you to a peaceful and serene environment, perfect for enjoying a good cup of coffee. The main attraction of Cafe Tovar, it is the wide variety of quality coffee. Here you will find different coffee options that are made over here, from traditional to more innovative options with special flavors. Whatever your preference is, you're sure gonna find something. I choose uh, to buy for myself coffee liquor, which I found that very delicious, but you gotta be careful because it's up to 50% grades of alcohol. Wow, it's so delicious. Wow, 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 wow. So they give you to try even liquor for coffee, liquor coffee, but this is amazing, wow, tastes so good. For our last stop, we came to this beautiful, beautiful place in which they give us different uh, flavor liquors. We have flavor uh, liquor of strawberry, we have flavor liquor of sangria, we have of grapes, and we had of parchita maracuya. Definitely my favorite was the one of passion fruit, the parchita was absolutely delicious and the environment here of the mountains is just incredible so cheers for the colonia to bar so this has been all for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tour of the colonia to bar as much as i did and as usual it will be until the next video see you guys travel wonderful